you're excited about this mission. We are doing a shark mission, but not just any sharks. Yeah, I thought when we were adding sharks to our pain index, it would be a shark bite. <laughs> but we're getting stung by sharks. That's right, a shark that stings. And that is through two spines on the dorsal fins of the shark. This is something else. This is cool. This is something most people have no idea even exists. The Port Jackson shark is rumored to be venomous. They don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of people claiming these are venomous, but they don't provide any additional information. We kind of have to test this. We do. We want people to know exactly what is happening with these sharks and any potential dangers that there might be. The Port Jackson shark. Heterodontus portus jacksoni. This lovable Australian bullhead shark is equipped with two sharp dorsal spines, one in front of each dorsal fin. These massive spines are thick at the base and come to a razor sharp point right at the tip, engineered to penetrate its attacker and cause deep puncture wounds. There are conflicting reports on whether the Port Jackson spines are in fact venomous, but one thing's for sure, these spines will bring the bloody pain. Oh, man, look at it. Oh, it's teasing. Oh, both oh. of them. Oh, my God. It's like it came up to show us the spines. Oh, like, don't God. mess with me. Holy crap. They look bigger out of water. They do look. Oh, man. That is a massive spine, Adam. It's thick, it's long, and it's potentially venomous. It's going to suck, man. It is going to hurt. I got to get hands on. OK. Before the spines ruin these sharks for me forever, I've got to handle it. All right. Oh, it's too windy to do this. <laughs> You're brave. All right. Like, I'm excited and terrified at the same time. Look at that. That is going to be inside of us. It's like a switchblade coming out the back of the fish. We're going to have to apply pressure so that spine penetrates our flesh. That is horrifying. I'm scared, man. Oh, my god. All right, little guy, just get ready to do your worst. Holy crap. All right, good. Oh, good god. Maybe go check on him. I felt it just pop through. Yeah, it did. Are you okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see, bud. Because I'm cold, it's just not bleeding, but holy f Well, felt you got that. some bleeding there. Oh, that went right into the meat. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Dude, oh. That, like. Holy crap. The muscle's been compromised. <sighs> Never had a biter sting that I've like heard it and felt it like through the animal's body. Like it just popped. Oh! It's just being stabbed. It's like pushing your hand down onto a nail. <sighs> oh wow. No other burning though, no other stinging. It's hurting like, like a puncture would, but it's so hard to tell if anything else is happening just yet because all I'm feeling is the pain from that puncture. Who knows what could happen in the next few minutes to hours. Still running, hey, like, this is all new. And some venoms can cause you to bleed more. Exactly. It would be difficult to tell if that's what's happening, right? It's really hard to tell if that's what's happening or if it's just because of where it punctured. I'm going to take this off. I don't want any blood on my spine jacket. Oh, you're more worried about blood on your coat than freezing? Hell yeah. <laughs> Gonna rinse this off and we'll rub a little bit. Oh, that's sore. That's painful. I hate these type of wounds where the damage is on the inside. You can't see. Look, yeah, so you cool. got a nice deep puncture there right into the flesh, into the meat there. Does that hurt when I'm pressing? Yeah. Yep. Taking a look at that wound, 
Like it tells me exactly how sharp the tip of that is. That is a sharp spine. Hell yeah, it is. I think it's just still too early to determine if there is something else in there, but it feels like, I don't know, like there might be. It's a throbbing pain now, mm -hmm. dull throbbing. Again, I don't know if it's venom or it's just stab. God, you're in for a nasty one, eh? Let's see that. I'm just like... Scared. I'm scared. Looks like he's showing off his spines again for you. Oh, God. All right, man. Yeah. You ready? OK. I just don't want to get stung again. Oh, don't. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Did you feel it? Yeah, I felt it. Oh. I even felt that. Mm. Golly! Oh. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Like, the worst part is when it, right, right when it pops through your skin. Yep. Give us a look. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. It's freaking deep, dude. I felt it. Yeah. I felt it go boof. Golly. Check this on. Oh, God. Uh. I mean, man, it's not bleeding as bad as his. Why? Oh, give it time. Mine took, yeah. a, took a minute. It went deep, that's for sure. So it's like red on the outside. It's like, see this red patch? Yeah. The whole area hurts. It's locally damaged, and there's probably some blood underneath it. All the bleeding might be actually just deeper because there's blood and inflammation underneath, lower, pushing everything up. Could be a little, even a hematoma, or could be a blood collection, just deeper. I can't tell if maybe there's some type of toxin, whether there's a venom gland or just toxins on the outside of the body. It, it hurts a little more than I would think for a puncture, but that was a big puncture. Oh. Like, we have as many questions now as we did when we started. Yeah, the more you know, the more you realize you don't know. Yeah. Let's get the hell out of this cold. Let's do it. <sighs> do I need to keep an eye on this? Like, a puncture could get really affected, right? It can. If any redness continues or fevers, I'm already keeping an eye on you. OK. All right, thanks, Doc. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching Kings of Pain. And subscribe to never miss a new video and watch more on the History Channel and History.com.